My uh, next guest album, uh, Bat Out of Hell, of course, is one of the most successful records of all time. Currently, you can see him in the film Fight Club, and he has a brand new book out entitled To Hell and Back, which tells his whole life story. Please welcome Meatloaf. <laughs> Again, no, yeah, yeah, you're gonna get. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. all right. How are you? So how are you? Good, nice, good. Nice to have you here. Nice to be here. <laughs> how you doing? I'm very good. You sure? Uh, well, yeah, yeah as People, sure it, as I it can must, be. It must be weird to always be sitting there with everybody turning their back to you all the time. Oh, it's I'm used to it. You know, you know, yeah, okay, yeah. good. <laughs> I had a bad childhood. So. <laughs> yeah, he was abused a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so much to talk about here, Meatloaf. Just uh, call me Meat. Is that oh, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. You, no, I have. A you've been using that for years. I, I have, I have, but but I, I, I just I, I just fall into the Stu, Chuck, and Frank category. That's all. Uh huh. I have a list of 135 names that mean something else. Okay. Harry. Right. Tom. Mike. Dick. Right. Hugh. Okay. Right. Oral. Hugh. Grant. Oral. <laughs> I guess that's a name. Oral Hershizer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, of course. There you go. See? All right. Well, at least you came with material. I that's did the come with material. Thing. <laughs> Which and, brings and me if my... I hadn't have said Hugh before Oral, it would have worked better, Oral Hugh Grant. I mean, that's, that's a good joke. Uh, let's not assume anything. <laughs> like a guy who comes out and then berates people, yeah. Uh, you have had... Let's, we got to talk about this right away, because I'm, I'm looking through the book. Uh, you're telling your life story. And the thing that, that, that strikes me most of all is that you've had 18 concussions in your career. That probably explains a few things. Well, that's, that, that's why I thought the segue worked nicely. Uh, you have had 18 times you have had a concussion. You've been, like, knocked out. That's more than Steve Young. I would think. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, well, what kind of things were happening to you? I mean, at one point you said that you got hit in the head by a shot put. Is that's, that true? That's just true. I have a dent in my head from it, Conan. Feel. Right I here. don't want to feel yeah, your head. Yeah, come on, Conan. See? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, there's a big <laughs> hole right there. Uh, I did in my head. I got hit at 62 feet. A, a shot put went through 62 feet through the air and hit you. Yeah. Shouldn't that kill any normal person? It, it killed uh, the, about a week and a half before another kid, some in Dallas or something with the water or something, got hit in the head with a shot put and it killed him. Okay. But it didn't kill me. No. I'm still here. Right. <laughs> Now, you also, you got your, there's, there's, you tell a story in here where you injured yourself, you got your head stuck in a steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Meatloaf, tell us, how did you do that? Well, I, I was looking, uh, I was on the campus of Texas Tech, and there was this girl on the campus of Texas Tech who was very famous for having really large bosoms. Right. And uh, I saw her. Mm -hmm. And so I'm in my car, and I'm watching her walk across campus and a car stopped in front of me and I didn't see it all I saw was this car and I never touched the brakes and I just hit right into the back of this car and my head went forward I was driving a 1960 Chevy <laughs> and my head went forward and got trapped into the steering wheel and it hit I hit I had one of those air conditioners it wasn't central the old air conditioner right right so I cut my head my head was bleeding and I'm stuck in the steering wheel crowd of people are gathering around and the I ran into a, the girl I ran into right came back to the car and felt really bad for me and sat in the car and held my hand and eventually we went out on for about four or five dates so that's a way to meet women and then they yeah. yes it is a way <laughs> Great. But, but they cut, the fireman came and cut me out of the steering wheel. It right. was so embarrassing. But you're, o you're okay now, though. I mean, it's not, you didn't walk around for a week wearing a steering no, wheel. No, no, they, they cut me out. Just okay. I was only there for about an hour stuck in the steering wheel like this. Talk. Yeah, I'm okay. Trust me. Go ahead. Now, the, uh, the origin of the name Meatloaf. I mean, I know you've, you've talked about this a lot. You've given, you've given a million stories as to why you were called you Meatloaf. You want the truth? The truth is... Well, the truth is this. I was such a big baby when I was born, mm -hmm. that I didn't fit into the bassinets that they gave at the hospital. So right. the nurses didn't want my mother to feel bad. So they went down, they got a box, and they put blankets in the box and put ribbons on it and said, baby, a day on the side, and they gave it to my mom. My mom was happy, took me home, put me in the crib, 
took the blankets out, looked at the side of the box, and it said, Swanson's Meatloaf TV Dinners. Mm -hmm. And that's how you got into the Come on, kids, there? that's my new story. <laughs> and that's the truth, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> wow, just yell at the crowd to applaud your tales of... Uh, Wait, we hey, see it. We have listen, a... I don't have to use an electric claw sign, though. We don't use that anymore. It hasn't worked in years. Uh, we... Uh, we have a picture here of you, for, uh, you're six years old here, and, and this does back up what a big, that's you at the age of, yep. I cannot believe you, I mean, you look like Ernest Borgnine there, at 50. Well, you're six in that I'm, picture? I'm six, I'll be, uh, that would have been in the summer before I was seven. Right. right. I weighed like 185 pounds. <laughs> that's amazing, that's just incredible. You, uh, you're in this movie Fight Club, which a lot of people are talking about. And you play an interesting character in this movie. I, you play a guy. You play a guy. Somebody's seen Fight Club. You you uh, you play a guy who has huge breasts. A man who has large breasts. Yeah, it's, it's a breast thing I have going on here. You know. And so yeah. I we have an, we have a picture here still from the movie. There you are. <laughs> now obviously, those are those are prosthetic devices you're wearing. Yes, they I each hope. and they each weigh eight, eight pounds. I weigh, had sixteen pound breasts. Now, what is that like? I mean, did you feel that you were, were you treated any differently with large breasts, you think, than you were? Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. Everybody wanted to feel them all the time. And eventually, I liked the attention so much that I would just raise my shirt. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they would come and, because I, I had real, you know, nipples. <laughs> Well, they weren't real, but I didn't you know. ask about that. <laughs> I know that. I know. But but, uh, but there, you know, Brad Pitt would come on, go, baby, meet, hey, you know, and, and grab him. Yeah. yeah, and Helena Bottom Carter, me. <laughs> she was polite because she's English. May, may I touch your breast? Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. You can get away with that in England. Yeah, that's right. May I? Uh, before we go, because we're we're out of time. Uh, you're a baseball fanatic. A lot of people know that about you. Yes. Who are you rooting for in this series? Yankees. I'm all over him. <laughs> the Storyteller CD is available now, right here. The North American Storytellers Tour starts October 30th. You got the book, The Helen Back, an autobiography. I do. And of course, Fight Club is out. And Crazy in Alabama opens this Friday. Wow, the one thing I didn't plug and you worked it in. You're I did. Man, I'm a shameless. <laughs> yeah, meatloaf, everybody. We'll take a break. Bush is here when we come back. Our show, and I do want to thank all my guests. Meatloaf, thank you for being here. Best of luck with everything. Our thanks to Bing Rames for stopping by, a very cool guy. Our thanks to Bush for being here. You got your Andy Richter, you have your Jimmy Vivino and the 7 Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for later, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.